Hello there. Today's going to be another book review, but this time more of a series than a specific book. This is going to be the Spiderware Chronicles, and I, all, I know I only have four of them because I've lost the second one. But I've still read them all multiple times, so I think I can probably handle the storyline so far. Just a little, a little bit of a preface. I'm a little bit of a fangirl of the series because I also have the entirety of the... Uh, spin-off series, the movie on DVD, and the field guide itself. I like it. I like it a lot. I will do a quick summary this time, I swear. Okay, first up, we meet these three. They find a book, this one, in a house that they just moved into. The book talks about crazy things, like like this, 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 which the mythical basics can appreciate, this, which as a nerd fighter I have to say I'm not necessarily in favor of, and this, which... And after they find the book, they are confronted by this guy, Simple Tech, who tells them it's a bad idea and they need to give it away or tear it up and just leave it alone. But they don't. They get a bunch of goblins and an ogre mad at them, and the ogre comes and tries to take the book so he can kind of take over and give the world back to nature itself. There's a lot of stealing and taking of things and people, and it's it's complicated. But there you go. That was a really quick summary! I'm so proud of myself! Now on to a bit of critical analysis. Hopefully it will be more than usual, because usually I don't have much in the way of critical analysis. Too much summary to worry about. I find that I really like the character. These three, Jared, Simon, and Mallory, thinking, man, if only I had a twin, I'd have someone to understand me, and I could do stuff with, and be cool, and switch clothes, and terrify people. This was my real introduction into the idea of fantasy in general, and I just love it a lot, because... I love it, and it makes me calm on days when things aren't going well. The whole series itself was very valuable to me also because it made me really want to have, and sometimes imagine that I did have, things like this guy running around the house cleaning up whenever I didn't want to. Sorry, Mom. Wardrobe change because I just wanted to tell you a couple things, but it's Monday now, and I did not finish or upload this Friday when I said I would. This story is amazing. If it was not for Spiderway Chronicles, I probably would not have gotten nearly as into books as I have now. I would really suggest checking it out because I think it's very much worth it. And by the way, I never did this. Ta-da! I kicked the camera a little bit now. I don't know exactly where it was, so I'm gonna just leave it like this. But there they are. Okay, now. Friday was pretty hectic, so I never really had the time to actually finish and upload the thing. I think I might have to switch days. So I think from now on it's probably gonna be Monday and Thursday instead of Tuesday and Friday because Tuesday I have class from 8 o'clock in the morning to 4.30 and then I'm going to have my own other college class that's going to be from 6 to 7.45 and then I get home at like 8.30, 9 o'clock and then it's been all stuff all day and it's just, I have more free time on Mondays and for Thursdays so let's try that for a while. And I want to apologize for not putting something up Friday. I have a new little friend to show you. He's a little treasure troll from 1990-something? But yes, he's a little friend of mine. I saw uh, Hannah and Mamrie's video about internet treasure trolls not too long ago, and I was like, Oh my god, I have seen in my room, so I stuck it there. I now finished all of the spin-off series, and I will make a video about that on Thursday. But the other books are still only about halfway done, because... They're like 700 pages, 900 pages each. I have another book that I'm starting to read. It's for one, well, where I'm actually at school, like in between classes and whatever. It's called The Silent Woman by Mary Page Hood. And it's an old book. But yeah, here's the, it's, uh, this is just the dust cover because the, uh, the book is in the other room. But yeah, it's old. That's Miss Margaret right there. And it's really interesting so far. I'm only like 45 pages in. It's only like maybe... 200 pages at most. It's a little hard to follow, but it's interesting. Anyway, that's all I've got for these books, but I will see you in the next video with the next book. Goodbye.